Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. It's Patrick, your recovery pastor, and I've got your word for today. Psalm 112 says, Praise the Lord. How joyful are those who fear the Lord and delight in obeying His commands. Their children will be successful everywhere. An entire generation of godly people will be blessed. They themselves will be wealthy and their good deeds will last forever. Light shines in the darkness for the godly. They're generous, compassionate, and righteous. Good comes to those who lend money generously and conduct their business fairly. Such people will not be overcome by evil. Those who are righteous will be long remembered. They do not fear bad news. They confidently trust the Lord to care for them. They're confident and fearless and can face their foes triumphantly. They share freely and give generously to those in need. Their good deeds will be remembered forever. They will have influence and honor. The wicked will see this and be infuriated. They will grind their teeth in anger. They will slink away, their hopes thwarted. You know, the psalmist describes uh, the blessings that the children of God uh, will have when they obey His commands. You see, there's, I think one thing that we have to assume is that God blesses His children, right? So this psalm tells us that God's going to bless those that delight in following His commands. But what, the, what I think we fail to always realize is, is we, we naturally don't delight in following God's commands. You see, it's only when we are children of God that the Holy Spirit makes us want to do things God's way instead of our own way. And when, we're, when we allow God to work in our life and we allow Him to move and change the desires of our heart when we fully surrender our life to Him, God then gets to glorify Himself through our obedience because then our lives begin to reflect His character. And you see, when we do that and we start following God's commands and we start living our, our lives, not because we're supposed to live a certain way, because the Bible says we're supposed to live a certain way, because oftentimes we get caught in the legalism of, well, I need to do this, and then I need to do that, and I need to do this. But in reality, if we surrender our lives to Christ and we obey God because we love God and, and God loves us and we have His favor already, we, we can't earn His favor. And we begin to live our life according to what His plan is instead of our own plan. Then God begins to bless us and He protects us so that, so that they do not fear bad news and confidently they trust the Lord to care for them. You see, Calvary, when, when we stop trying to live God's rules because we feel like we need to earn His favor and begin to live God's rules because He loves us and we've surrendered our lives to Him and we want to please Him by being obedient because He's Lord of our lives, then we don't lose the plot to legalism. And guys, let me tell you, if, if you're having trouble figuring out how it is to surrender your life to Christ or maybe you've got something in your life that's holding you back from being that child of God from fully surrendering to Him. Um, can I just encourage you to come to Celebrate Recovery on Monday nights at 6.30 at the Sweetwater Campus. We would love to walk with you along that way. Celebrate Recovery is not just for addicts. It's not just for people with drug and alcohol problems. Celebrate Recovery is for everybody. It's for anybody that has hurts, hang-ups, and habits. And Celebrate Recovery will give you the tools that you need to surrender your life to Christ fully, to walk in obedience to His plan, and to live the life that God intended for His children to live. Thank you for your time today, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.